Hi, I'm uh, Ashley McLean, and I am the Director of Marketing for the uh, Ippolito Fruit and Produce Limited. An average day in my position, I, I handle all sorts of things. I look after the consumer marketing for the Queen Victoria brand, and I work on developing our product line, uh, fresh fruits and vegetables, and I deal with social media. So an average day, I could be planning Facebook posts, Instagram posts, any, anything from designing packaging to developing products. No day is the same in this industry. <laughs> I've always had a love for food and for including fresh fruits and vegetables in my, my healthy diet, so working in the produce industry was an easy fit. I love being able to inspire people and uh, to get messages out there to, to the industry, to consumers. I love being able to have a voice. I love being able to inspire people f to love food and to, to go to the grocery store and, and to buy fruits and vegetables and to take them home. And, and I love being able to tell them, you know, this is what you can do with these fresh products. So get in the kitchen and, and cook. <laughs> Definitely passion is number one. You have to be passionate about your products, your services, your messaging. If, if you're not standing, standing behind what you're saying, nobody else is going to. You have to be confident. You have to be convincing. You have to be organized. Like every day you're going to be dealing with multiple projects all at once and you, you've got to stay organized. Event planning, definitely. Uh, advertising, public relations, uh, anything in the food industry, uh, food writing, that, that's a big one. Everyone's always going to need to eat uh, and with the, the rise of the, the health, uh, healthy lifestyles, uh, consumers are focusing a lot on fresh food and fresh produce. Uh, so there, there's always going to be jobs in this field. It's a great industry to work in. It's always changing. It's always evolving. It's no days the same, like I said before. So, At high school level, definitely uh, take any business courses that are offered at the schools, uh, any nutrition, any food-related programs. Post-secondary, I would, I would gear more towards the marketing courses, the, a diploma or, or a degree in marketing. Um, also food writing courses that are offered at colleges, you know, get involved in that because you're going to, in this industry, you're going to be writing a lot about food and you're going to have to know how to describe food. So those are great courses to, to, to take. PR, any sort of public speaking courses. Social media is huge in this industry, so, so get to know, you know, the social media vehicles that are out there for you to use. I would suggest doing an internship or a co-op at, uh, at a marketing firm or even at a, a food industry company um, to see if you really do love food. There's all sorts of companies out there that uh, are involved in food, whether it be food photography, food styling, you know, food writing, websites. This, this marketing industry is vast, so there's all sorts of different avenues you can explore. So you might not get you know, paid a whole lot of money right off the bat, but you know, try it out. See if you actually enjoy it. If not, try something else. Yeah. I would be Rachel Ray. Uh, because I, I'm, like I said, in love with food, and if I could have my own cooking show, my own line of cookware, my own cookbook, my own cooking magazine, that, that's my dream. <laughs>